Brussels yesterday warned it would block Theresa May's request for a Brexit transition unless the UK gave ground in separation talks. In a reopening to the latest round of negotiations, the EU threatened to scupper such a deal without Britain agreeing to a huge divorce bill and accepting Brussels rules during the two-year extension. The Prime Minister announced a proposal for the UK to maintain its relationship with the EU for an implementation period lasting several years after Brexit during a speech last week aimed at breaking the deadlock in talks. Her intervention was tentatively welcomed by Brussels. But the EU's chief Brexit negotiator Michel Barnier yesterday told the UK to settle its debt RST before any transition could be discussed warning that Brussels could still veto a deal after the financial settlement is agreed, Mr Barnier said, the EU has to decide on whether to have a transitional period and whether it is in its interest. We are not going to mix up discussions on debts and discussion on the past commitments. We are not going to mix up those subjects, which are part of an orderly withdrawal, on a discussion of our future relationship. He said in any transition the UK would have to continue with things such as the budget, supervision, judicial supervision and controls of EU rules and regulations. Mrs May's desire for an implementation period has provoked rows between cabinet ministers and prompted concern from Brexit ears that it would mean EU free movement into the UK continues till at least 2021. The clash over how to agree the divorce bill, seen as the biggest threat to the negotiations, was revealed as the fourth round of talks got underway in Brussels yesterday. Brexit Secretary David Davis rejected Mr Barnier's arguments and said the UK would discuss paying money only in the context of a future deal with the EU. He warned his opposite number that there were no excuses for standing in the way of progress. He added, the UK will honour commitments we have made during the period of our membership. But it's obvious that reaching a conclusion on this issue can only be done in the context of and in accordance with our new deep and special partnership with the EU. Reiterating Mrs May's position during her speech in Florence last Friday, Mr Davis said EU countries should not worry that they will need to pay more or receive less over the remainder of the current budget. Mrs May conned she was willing to continue paying into the EU for two years after Brexit, a sum of about £17.5 billion.